The lieutenant governor talking specifically about the proposed changes to the sex ed curriculum. The PCs say they will scrap the liberal sex ed updates in time for school in September. Tonight we're learning the Canadian Civil Liberties Association is planning a legal challenge saying the change discriminates on the basis of sexual orientation. And some educators are already promising to defy the government. It's rare to see teachers schooling the government like this, but Kayla Kay from Ottawa is just one. Hashtag rebel teachers have taken to social media promising to defy the PCs. Teacher Virginia Santos says she'll find textbooks on her own to teach about consent and same-sex families. We're going to be reverting back to the former sex ed component. Education Minister Lisa Thompson ignited the firestorm yesterday when she said her first order of business will be to go back to the old sex education written in 1998. Jane, Jane. These were the sorts of large-scale protests against the Liberals' move to update the curriculum. The changes include lessons on online bullying, along with conversations about same-sex families. The political debate continued today at Queen's Park. This is a Ben Levin radical sex education program and the fruit of the poisonous tree has been cut down. I think it's pretty clear that, uh, that this government is bent and determined uh, to uh, drag this province down, uh, to take us backwards, uh, to, uh, to take us into a race to the bottom and pull us into the last century. A union repping Toronto teachers says regardless, teachers will have wiggle room in the classroom. There are things that are lacking in our curriculum in any way where we can augment it by doing what's best for the students and we do that. Even the Catholic Teachers Union expressed its great disappointment with the PC's decision. In a statement, they said by going backward, we are doing students a disservice, leaving them without the tools and knowledge to manage their relationships and personal well-being. 